Hello everyone and welcome back to another Stormworks update video. Now, in this video, we're covering updates as of today, which is 0.6.3. As always, we'll go over the new features and changes that have been made and finally we'll test a few of them out in the world of Stormworks. Now, if you're enjoying these videos, comment below and let me know what else you'd like to see in any of my future videos. While you're there, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and make the little bell icon to be notified of any of my upcoming content as soon as it gets posted. So to start, the first feature the devs have added this week are the improvements that come to rendering. Now, there are many things here that devs have addressed. However, I think the most noticeable one here would be that the fluid no longer renders through vehicles. This is something that the community and myself have been asking for a very long time to be fixed. I'm really happy to see the devs have obviously shifted their focus from obviously last week's major update to this week where they're actually starting to look at the improvements of the gameplay and the game itself. Now, the next thing is that the quality of lighting underwater has also been improved where it now takes the color of the water itself and actually affects the lighting. Now, nothing major here. However, once again, a small little improvement that goes towards the gameplay improvements. We also have a little bit of changes where we can also now disable shadows in game to improve performance. And also if you don't like shadows, you can just turn them off in general. This can be found in your graphics settings along with the option to also change the quality of light volumes. Once again, just a small little thing if you need to improve your graphics settings or decrease them to get a little bit of improvement. improvement. And the last notice will change this week is the addition of the world seed added to the pause menu. This again is a very small little thing that counts towards the improvement of the gameplay where once again before we were unable to actually find our seed, we would have to go ahead create a new game, write that seed down and then we would know what seed we were playing in. Uh, obviously you could still find this out by going out of the game and going through a little bit of a back way into the files, you could find your pale seed. However, now this is actually publicly advertised in your pause menu. This is something great obviously if you wanted to share the seed you were playing on or if you wanted to just constantly make new games every week when there are new updates in the same seed. So at least you know your surroundings a little better. So that's it for this week's update. Uh, I want, if you want to go ahead and see a full list of the changes and fixes, make sure to go check out the announcement in the Stormworks official Discord server or over on Steam. Up to you. But overall, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and found it somewhat entertaining and informative as always. And we'll see you in the next one.